I am pleased to welcome our first speaker, Charles Cap Peck. Title of his talk is John Goodlad, Still Teaching. Well, the first thing I wanted to communicate actually is how I felt uh, several weeks ago when Mia asked me to give a talk on John Goodlad. John Goodlad is perhaps the most powerful researcher, thinker about education I've ever encountered. He's written a stack of books about this high. And so the idea of trying to talk about John's work was a little bit intimidating to me, but Mia said, don't worry, you have five minutes. <laughs> so there's a lot to be communicated here, and I'm gonna try to hit a balance between who I experienced John to be, because I had the immense privilege to work directly with him for several years, uh, and also to talk a little bit about the ideas that I found still alive in my own thinking that, that came through John. So one of the first things to say about him is that you're his people. You're the people that showed up this afternoon when it is drop dead beautiful outside, right? So you're the people that are here. And the reason you're here is because you care about your work so much that you're, you're always wanting to be present to the opportunity to learn about it in ways that help you get better. So we're John's people. And we're the people that his work is oriented toward because his work, um, more than anything, was about imagining a, a, a better way of serving kids, a better way of preparing teachers. So I'm just delighted to be here and have the opportunity to share some of his thinking with you. And there are four ideas I was hoping to communicate. First one has to do with the idea of school reform. John hated the idea of school reform. For him, the notion of reform implied something that was not right, that somehow people were doing it wrong and needed to be re changed, reformed. He proposed that we use the notion of renewal. Renewal is an idea that's, that's saturated with energy and possibility and creativity. And we're attracted to the notion of renewal in ways that I, I suspect we don't feel quite the same way about the notion of reform. So he, he was interested in renewal. And another of his big ideas was, was the one about simultaneous renewal. So one of the things that John was very clear about is that we couldn't really get better teachers unless we somehow created better schools, but we couldn't get better schools unless we created better teachers. And his answer to that very Zen Cohen-like like problem was the idea that we get better together. That the university can't get better at preparing teachers unless we're working with public school colleagues that share our aspirations and share a willingness to get out on the edge of what we know and try things in new ways. So I think the idea that, that permeates John's work, leading to the third big idea, is, is the idea that the people that are closest to the work must be involved in the work of renewal. Inventing new ways of doing things as complex as public schooling require a knowledge base that teachers, principals bring to that work. He used to say, this is one of his favorite sayings actually, that the people that grind the wheat should make the bread. The people that grind the wheat should make the bread. So I love that because what it suggests to me is a deep respect for teachers and parents and community members, people who are close to the ground, who, are, who understand the complexities of the challenges we face, and who are positioned to offer strategies that really matter and can actually work uh, to, uh, to improve the way we educate children. Last big idea. In a way, this idea is the one that, that when I think about John's work, this is the idea that ties it together in the most powerful way. He used to ask the question, he and, and Roger Sodor, um, who some of you know, um, would ask, does it matter whether we're preparing students to live in a democracy or a dictatorship? Let that, let that sink in for a bit. Does it matter whether we're preparing students to live in a democracy or a dictatorship. 
So the answer to that question depends on where we're working, who we're working with. The answer is constantly evolving. But I th would encourage th those of you who are going to be uh, uh, sticking around for the reception to push on all of us that are presenting today about how we answer that question, to take the, the, the incredible importance of that question to heart and push on us in terms of the thinking that we're offering today in, in each of these very brief little talks. Because John understood as much as anybody I have ever met that we are all in this work together and it is in, its, in our relationships with one another that we'll find workable solutions to making the work that we really care about so deeply. We care about it so much that we're here this afternoon and um, that's the most promising thing I think that we can imagine about how to move forward. So, Thank you very much.